today, we're going to see if we can transform the Sony Trinitron, let's take a look at that, into a Roku TV. So I don't know why I've never really thought of doing this, but we have probably the only cable we need. Um, I have this one as well. We'll, we'll look at this one later. I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, so I think I have something similar, but let's take this one out. I got this from eBay and the whole purpose was to make my Trinitron have Roku capability. So we're going to see how this looks. Uh, if it's possible, I don't see why it shouldn't be possible, but we have a Roku right here already hooked in to a different TV. So let's simply replace the HDMI cable. Man, that thing's hot. Hasn't even been used for a little while, but man, that thing is really hot. We're gonna replace this cable here and plug it into the front inputs of the Trinitron. Um, so yeah, we have a yellow for video and then a white and a red, both for audio. Let's just use the actual big button. Um, doesn't always work great. There you go. Trinitron on. Um, and then I suppose once it's on, I'll be able to control this with my remote and stuff, right? So let's see how this works. Well, which output are we going to be on here? Video one or two, I bet. Two? What are we on? Let's take a look. Uh, it's video two. Why is that not working? Hmm. I wonder if I have to take apart the S-Video. Should we unplug the S-Video port, maybe? Might be um, looking for that. Let's unplug it. Still nothing. Figured it was worth a shot. Um... Damn, what now, huh? The Roku was just being used a second ago on this other TV here. So the only thing I can think to do is try to wake it up with my remote. Let's see. Couldn't connect to Roku. Why not? Plugged into a power outlet. It says, before trying again, make sure your device is plugged into a power outlet and turned on. Connected to the same wireless network as your phone. And I had just had it on. Um, hmm. Shit. Well, that did not work. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know, man. That, that did not work. I wonder why. Hmm. Why not? Um, let's try it a different way. I don't know. Maybe you need to... Maybe you need to use this other piece. Let's use this other piece. I don't want to give up this quickly. So this is simply... Yeah, it converts HDMI into composite. I'll plug in the power uh, source first. This is the same port as a PS3 controller. So that's in there. Let me get a composite to composite cable. All right. Composite to composite. So what we got to do is just plug it in yellow to yellow, white to white, red to red. Now let's make sure this is powered. I don't know why we need this little device. That cable should have done the trick too. Um, so I'm going to take this out. We're on the right input. Okay, there was something that happened on the video there. It's trying to do something. Not, it's not powered yet, though, remember. Okay, let's plug in the USB. I can't tell if I'm doing this the right way. It's a good thing about USB-C. You can never, you can never get it wrong. Hmm. You know what, I have like a power box around here, I think. Ooh.
these things make it a little bit easier. So, everyone has a ton of these power boxes, right? Let's plug that into one of the outlets on this huge power strip. Okay. Oh, wow. That's something, right? Now, we need to have an HDMI to HDMI for the Roku. So that's another cable we need. Um, I don't believe I have one out here, so another cable we have to go get. Is it on this? No. Here we go. We have, we have that handy. Yeah, HDMI cable. Just a simple HDMI to HDMI cable. We're going to plug one end from the Roku device. These are very simple devices. It's just an HDMI cable and a power, and it's definitely powered because I was just using it. And then we'll plug in the HDMI to here. Because, yeah, that's... That's the input, it looks like. Hard to say, though. Yeah, it says, it says input. Excuse me. Yes, it does. Just on the other side. Holy crap! There it is! Wow! I'm excited that that actually worked. Fantastic. That cable that I first tried was useless, though. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a remote, so I do have to use my phone. Let's explore this here. Why don't you take a look at my phone while I do this as well? Oops, that's my Robin. Hope we don't have to show that. Uh, Roku. Oops. So you have the Roku on all of these TVs, and you can show them that, I suppose. There's a TV here and a TV over there. But yeah, let's get back over to this. So Roku Premiere. Let's back up. It looks pretty good, huh? My cameraman nodded her head. It looks like it adjusted the resolution to work for the... Ooh, it's kind of messed up, the resolution, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I wonder if there's a way to change that. Let's go to Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> that just doesn't doesn't look the best. I wonder if we can make this work somewhat with the remote. I'll grab the big Sony remote. What? That just, oh, the TV is not. No, it. it's yeah, it's brand new. Well, yeah, it's a brand new TV. Just uh, update it. Okay, go ahead and update my household. Send text. We're going to send a text to her phone. Okay, it's in the... It's my phone. Grab my phone. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll switch. We'll switch here. I'll take the camera. You take your phone. Okay. Well, yeah, it's some, sometimes it looks pretty good. Like, the text here looks okay. It just seems like it's a little bit stretched. I think it wants to be widescreen, you know. that's what, And that, that doesn't surprise me. I figured there'd probably be some struggles with it. There it is. Okay, so now we're we're now part of it. Let's see how this looks. Let's just watch something. Um, why don't we try Monday Night Raw? Sure. As you can see, it's a little bit messed up on the left, though. It doesn't really want to show it. Oh, I would get copyright claim if I show this, right? Yeah, let's let's not do that. I'd love to do that, but you know, wrestling just goes crazy with that stuff. Let's check out Manifest, I guess. Um, let's just watch a little bit of it. I mean, it, it looks just, you can tell it's being squished, you know? Yeah. Why don't we see if we can change the resolution on here? So I have this massive remote. What can we do? Wide? Okay. Did that, I wouldn't say it changed anything, right? Picture mode. Okay, that's just like the. Um. Hmm. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It looks good to me. I want to see if there's a way to. Sound system. I mean, it's not the worst. If I want to have an extra TV, I can now have a Roku here. You know, which is pretty cool. It's doable. Is this a 4x3 aspect ratio, though, or what's going on? 
Or is it being squished, right? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Options? A lot of these things are not working on my remote. Picture, advanced menu. Oh. It doesn't really talk about resolution, does it? Try, try movie. Oh, look. 16 by 9 enhanced. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was trying to do it. Huh. Yeah. Maybe this is the best it can really do, which is not, it's not terrible. Um, I mean, I could watch on this. You want to watch some sports? Let's check out some sports. Before we go on, I go to my Roku remote back. Um, oh, the Trinitron still busy. Trying to get stuff here. Let's just get rid of that menu here. Okay. I mean, uh, my dad watched on a CRT for a long time. You know, he did. Now I have this badass CRT. So let's go to... It's a 36-inch Trinitron, by the way. Now let's go to, um, yeah, like ESPN. It seems like it's automatically adjusting the resolution. Like, that looks pretty good. Uh... It looks great, actually. I need to buy another Roku then, I guess, is the answer. Yeah, you notice how they cut off the screen on the left? That's that's not good. Nobody wants that. Should we check out some fights going on currently? Excuse me. That looks good. I'm going to go back here. Oh, heh. we can't we can't watch this one yet. Let's go to a different thing that's ongoing right now. Like this looks like a basketball or something game, baseball. Let's see how that looks. Maybe we can watch Sunday Sunday morning or night, Sunday night football. Monday night football as well. Ooh, man, it's yeah. That looks really bad. Okay, it, it, the resolution corrected itself. It was just... I wonder if there's a way to fit this to screen better, though. That looks solid, though. Look at that. Looks really good. Looks freaking great. I do wonder, though, is there a way to just change this? Mode, mode picture? Oh, that's just that. I'm pressing that wide button. It's not doing anything. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I can mess with this more in the menus. Let me try a different remote. Every remote's a little different. But I'm pretty satisfied for 10 bucks to make it into a Roku TV. So this is another remote for a Trinitron here. Um, picture mode. Oh, that's that's what we've just been messing with this whole time. Let's see. Probably not the best remote to use because widescreen didn't exist when they made this one. But I mean, hey, I don't mind this. I could watch some damn baseball on the Trinitron, you know? That's great. Um, one more, One more thing to check. I don't know, all my remotes. All these Sony remotes work. Okay. Yeah, wide picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have that same thing. Um, I, it doesn't have the big thing where you can just change the resolution on here, though. Oh, but, 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 but. On this device, you can change the resolution. Let's put some light on here. So what do we have it on? NTSC or PAL? Well, let's try changing it to PAL. It doesn't even work. Okay. It's just NTSC or nothing. 
But gosh, there's no way to change the res, huh? I wonder if you could do. I bet you there's probably a way. Um, it's escaping me though. I don't know. Should we check the Roku settings here? Why don't we check the settings on the Roku here? Press that. Accessibility and language. Screen reader. Hmm. Nothing really crazy going on there. Let's try this setting. Adjust audio delay. Buy new remote. <gasps> yeah, that's funny. People know that people lose those. I don't even have one. But I think it looks quite good. What I'm going to probably do is immediately upgrade this to actually make this be S video and not just composite video. And who knows, maybe that'll change the resolution too, right? So that sounds like a great idea. Um, I'll be buying one of those. But um, yeah, we're going to call it there, guys. I might mess with these settings a little bit more. But I think the main thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to change it, like I said, to S video here. It'll give me a high definition um, output and increase the, uh, you know, the picture quality. So, heck yeah, another use for the Sony Trinitron, just like all my other TVs. It's now a smart TV in 2025. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and like, and take care.